We can do it, we can do it before the family dies. Hello humans, my name is Dale Kingsmill and this, you may know, is Neil McNeil. Hi guys. The one and only Neil McNeil. Like, are there other Neil McNeils? My dad there? and my deceased grandpa and a guy who got arrested for holding up a bank in Georgia. Today we're going to be doing a video where we're going to mix and match some fandoms. So basically, I'm going to say to Neil, for example, uh, if you were to put the Doctor Who characters into the Harry Potter universe, I just stole one of his, <laughs> then what characters would they be? And we're just going to talk it out and have a big nerd fest and it's going to be amazing. You ready for this? Yes. First up, Veronica Mars into Buffy. I probably have thought about this hundreds of thousands of times at this point. That's good. So Veronica would definitely be Buffy. I agree. I completely agree. The strong-willed leader of the group. Don't take no BS. Yeah, superpowers. Even if she won't admit it, Veronica definitely has she superpowers. She does. She does. Mac would be Willow. The computer techie, sciencey, geeky sort Very of deal. Nice. Weevil. See, this is a hard one. I'm not sure. No, nope, I know it. Weevil. Spike. The bad Ooh. boy. I think I would make Weevil Oz. Ooh, yeah. Which is a bit strange. Okay. But you know the sort of intelligent guy who doesn't. Care and has a wild side. Biker like werewolf. Spoiler? All right, Wallace. Wallace would be Xander. Not really special, but special in his yes, own way. And he can help them out, but only in small ways, like yeah. stealing the files. Exactly. From the front office. But now here's where it gets tricky, because Logan, I would have a Spike, but who would you Ooh. have Logan as? Logan, I would have his Angel, like her one true love. Oh, They've established that several times in the show, like Buffy and Angel were meant to be together, but they couldn't. Spoiler alert for the Veronica Mars movie. Logan gets sent away to the military at the end, and that's kind of like what Angel did when he left. I still think I would make him Spike. Okay. Just because he's a bad boy, yeah. Yeah, because he's a bad boy, and then like him going to the military is a little bit like getting a chicken like, in his brain. Okay. Vinnie Van Lowe. Vinnie Van Lowe, Vinnie Van Lowe. Glorificus. Because oh he's gosh. so... I just want to see it. I, I never just, even thought of that. That would be the most amazing thing on the planet. Yep, because he's something. vain and like very cocky. He always thinks he's right, which Glory did. And he drives you insane. Who'd you have before? Maybe one of the nerd trio. You he's, know, one of those characters that's just in the background he's being got more annoying skill than that. without being the main bad guy, you know? Yeah. Second set, ooh. Harry Potter into Star Wars. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Harry. Luke, the chosen one, yeah. essentially. Ron. Han Solo. I was gonna say the same thing, because he's the guy who knows about the universe, yeah. actually has been around and He's the experienced stuff. one who like guides him, but also like doesn't want to take any of Harry's crap. Harry, I get that you're like muggle-born, but like... But Hermione. Leia. This, this is ending up really simple and straightforward. Yeah, no. Did, did J.K. Rowling steal Star Wars? Is, is Harry Potter just Star Wars? In, yeah. He's Dumbledore. Ben Kenobi, right? Yeah. He's Ben Kenobi. And he, yeah, dies. Spoiler alert, Dumbledore dies. We've got so many spoiler alerts in this one. <laughs> and then Lupin That's would be trickier. Chewbacca. Is that just because he has <laughs> Did you just did you just make the werewolf <laughs> Chewbacca? Yes. I can kind is of get racist? behind it actually, but I think it might be racist. I think it might be spacist. <laughs> If you hate anyone from Star Wars, your spaces. Yeah. I wonder if Lupin would maybe be a bit like Yoda. Someone who comes in a bit later and teaches him some stuff. And it's not straightforward, it's just like, here, have some chocolate. I think I know who Yoda would be, though. Ooh, who would Yoda be? Hagrid. Oh my gosh, Hagrid's the next one on the list! Yes! <gasps> You're I, a psychic. I think Hagrid would be Yoda, because he, like, he does, like, he's kind of like a father mentor figure to Harry. Yeah. My only problem is Hagrid doesn't die, and Sirius does. So Sirius could be Yoda, but I really think that Hagrid's, like, a very strong teacher in his life. And I especially like it because Yoda's so tiny and yeah. Hagrid is so big. Exactly. It's a very contrasting, but what? it works. Finally, okay. this one's going to be more interesting for you than me because I haven't seen Orange is the New Black, but I know that you're a big fan. So yeah. Orphan Black to Orange is the New Black. Okay. There's some weird ones in there for you. You did. Yeah, I did. Mrs. S. I can't remember his name, but it's the guard who's against the prisoners being lesbians. Because he's kind of strict. Okay. And he's like very like no-nonsense. He's like, no lesbianing. I feel like Mrs. S would be like, lesbianing's okay if you tell me. Well, it. that's what he is. He's like, just be honest with me, like be open with me, but like, please don't sleep with the other inmates and make romantic relationships. How does we turn lesbian uh, into it, a verb? We're talking about orphan black and orange is the new black. Lesbianing is a given. Felix, maybe Larry. He's just the guy who's like there to help, but like, he always ends up like kind of screwing things up and kind of screwing someone inappropriate. Kira. Messed you up. Ooh, um, no, no, no. Kira. No children in prison. Kira would be... Like 
how high pitched that got. That was really cool. There are no kids in prison. <laughs> I don't know, you, you stumped me with this one. Kira would probably be, this is so obscure in my book too, um, for Orange is the New Black, the daughter of Piper's best friend. Okay. Just because she's a kid. Because they're kids. And that's the only other kid on the show. Uh Delphine would be, ooh, she would be Alex Voss. She's not like evil, but like, she's kind of like ill-intentioned. Allison would be Piper. Allison would be Piper because she's the most clean cut. She may have had some bad stuff going on in her past, but like she's like very together. Donnie, Donnie, Donnie would be, oh, but he would also be Larry. Crap. Cause like, cause like Felix is one part of Larry and Donnie is the other part a of Larry. A Jekyll Hyde situation? Yeah. All right, well that was a whole bunch of fun. Thank you for coming and doing this with Thank me. Thank you for having you me. You guys should all go over and check out Neil's channel. We've done a video over there that was the same thing, but with different fandoms and I had to answer the questions. If you're one of my people, be sure to subscribe to Dale. She's an amazing vlogger over here and she is just the absolute cutest. Well, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and the shares and subscribes and those things also. But for now, that is it. We are done here and I will see you guys some other time. Yay! Just before my battery dies!